reason I'm walking along the Centennial Trail in Spokane, Washington. And it's because I want to show you this spot. This is where I was standing more than six years ago as a high school senior when I first saw Gonzaga University. It would end up being my home for the next four years, home to all of my college experiences, but I was the second most excited person that day. This is the first Father's Day I've ever even thought about Father's Day before like the Saturday before. I was definitely one of those kids who you know, would run to Walgreens that morning and rummage through what they had left and <laughs> hope to find something. And then you pretend like that's what you meant to buy. Or maybe you buy something online and then you blame UPS for shipping it too late or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was me. And my, my guess is my, my dad knew that. But this is my first Father's Day since my dad passed away. He was sick for a long time. He passed away January 11th of this year. It sounds so overly cliche, uh, but now I get what Father's Day is about. My dad was in hospice for a couple months before he passed away, and the hospice caretakers would tell us, my family members, when my dad wasn't in the room, how important it was to have conversations with him about you know, how much he meant to us and how much we appreciated him. That thought terrified me. I was horrible at it. And it really caught me by surprise because I get paid to talk for a living. I've never had trouble talking to anyone, much less my father, who I had a great relationship with and we could talk about anything. And yet, now I was facing telling him what he meant to me and how much I appreciated him. And, and I just couldn't do it. It felt really final, right? And so that makes sense why it would be scary. But it was also really hard because we don't do that a lot in our society, I don't think. Like, like we're just not trained to really sit down and take a moment and tell people what they mean to us. And since we don't do it a lot, it's hard to do. It doesn't come naturally, and it, and it felt like it was gonna be some sort of a really dramatic and over the top moment. And that just was not my relationship with my dad and I at all. We got along really well and we loved each other a lot, but we weren't overly mushy or sentimental with each other. And so I held it off and I held it off and I held it off and I regret that now. I did end up telling him all of those things. It was the night before he died, actually a few hours before he died. I had that conversation with him probably around like 9 p.m. He passed away just after midnight. Then I sat back and I thought about all of those wasted moments where I could have had a conversation where he could have spoke back to me. Because when I had that conversation with him, he couldn't talk anymore. You know, now I walk through Gonzaga, I think about how hard he worked to put me through school. I think about how hard he worked to buy me my car and my clothes and all of the things I took for granted. And that's what Father's Day is about, right? It's about recognizing your dad and how much he does for you and saying thank you. What if we did that always? Right? Like, what if we just made a habit of always telling people in the moment what's great about them? Because if we did it all the time, it wouldn't be this huge, scary, overly sentimental, mushy thing. It would just be another part of our daily habit. It would just be part of being a human. And maybe if we did that, then someday there would be no need for Mother's Day or Father's Day or Grandparents' Day. You know, it would be like, brushing your teeth day, you know? Like it would just be honoring something that we do by default. So I guess my message is take advantage of this Father's Day. Use it as the inspiration to start. And if you're not physically with your dad, then tag him in the comments below and tell him what you love about him. And if you are physically with him, then forget the comments and go tell him in person. And let that spark a habit to appreciate people in the moment, in every moment, and um, don't waste the chance. Love you, Dad.